Welcome to NADAP KB TV. In this video, we are going to learn about the selective LAN mapping, why it is implemented, how to determine if SLM is enabled on a LAN map, and the best practices. This video is based on NADAP KB article 1002272. Selective LAN mapping, also known as SLM, limits the number of paths to the LAN which host could see. With SLM enabled, the host will be able to see the LANs which are owned by that node and its HA partner. This is enabled by default from data on tab 8.3 onwards. If your environment has a combination of LANs created in data on tab 8.3 and LANs transition into data on tab 8.3 from previous versions, you will have to determine whether selective LAN map is enabled on those specific LANs. You can use the information displayed in the output of LAN mapping show with hyphen fields reporting nodes as its attribute to determine whether SLM is enabled on your LAN map. Let's see a demo. So here if you see for this particular LAN, this is the node which is hosting it and this is the, the, these are the nodes which are the reporting nodes. A host which has access to this LAN would not be able to view this particular LAN through the nodes cluster 103 and cluster 104. You can also search the same using the uh, vServer command. So this output will be given based upon the specific vServer. If you want to look for the reporting nodes for a particular LAN path, you can also type the following command. If SLM is not enabled, dash will be displayed under the reporting nodes column of the command output. If SLM is enabled, the list of nodes displayed under the nodes column will be duplicated in the reporting nodes column. Before SLM was introduced, LUNs were reported to host from every eligible LIF in the vServer. But supported client multipath stacks have limits on the number of paths they can manage for a single LUN. Sometimes it is as few as 8 for some supported operating system. With SLM, it simplifies host-side multipath management and ensures that the number of host paths to the LAN does exceed the maximum supported by the data on tap. Prior to data on tap 8.3, it was advised to use port sets to limit the number of lifts for a single LAN. It was complicated and error-prone as is required multiple igroup port set pairs for single host and requires administrator to determine the correct igroup for a given LAN map. You can also disable the SLM by running the following commands to disable LAN map cluster wide. If the cluster size is over 8 nodes, request to disable SLM will be rejected if the cluster has a SAN capability. Once the SLM is disabled, the host will be able to access the LAN from all the nodes in the cluster. However, as a best practice, it is recommended to have SLM in enabled state. Now coming to the best practices. If a node is hosting a LAN for a client access, then the node and its HA partner must have a SAN LIF. If you're moving a LAN or a volume containing LANs to another HA pair within the same cluster, 
you should modify the selective LUN map reporting node list before initiating the move. This ensures that the active optimized LUN paths are maintained. If you're using port sets, then it must contain lifts from all the nodes in the given B server. To restrict paths to a subset of nodes, use selective LUN mapping instead of port sets. For more information, you can always download and refer SAN configuration guide from NetApp support site. Thank you.